Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's May 20th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update, and I'm here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Grant, thanks for being here today. Uh, another uh, week of higher yields, although they did stabilize a little bit towards the end of the week. Muni's underperformed uh, treasuries on the week. Why don't you take us through some of the activity you saw? Yeah, um, it's exactly right. The kind of the risk off trade was um, was in f- full bloom again this week as as riskier assets continue to struggle and, and treasuries, as you mentioned, kind of found found a firmer footing. We had uh, the ten year um, uh, is lower in yield or rallied uh, to about a two eighty where it is now, and and the thirty year about ten basis points to a to a three percent. So you know, despite that, muni yields are still under pressure, we had um, the 10 year munis are yielding 106% of the treasury and it's 110% on the long end. So these are these are uh, levels that um, are bringing in crossover buying. And, and actually towards the end of the week, there, were, uh, there was um, a lot of crossover buying activity and that helped uh, firm up munis here in the last couple of days of the week. Uh, the, the deals uh, struggled quite a bit early in the week and and those deals now actually are trading uh, through or higher, um, uh, better than their original yields. We haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, great. So let's let's dive into the new issue market this week. Uh, about six point one billion dollars in new issues uh, price this week. Six hundred forty four million of that was insured by BAM. Uh, some of the larger transactions include the Arizona Sports and Tourism Authority, one hundred fifty four million dollars that was uh, priced by RBC. The Vista Unified School District, one hundred thirty eight million dollars. The Fort Zumwalt School District in Missouri, that was seventy five million. And the Mesa Arizona uh, utility bonds that came in at fifty five million dollars. What uh, what kind of feedback did you hear from the underwriters? The, um, so a, lo- a lot of the um, the BAM insured volume was earlier in the week, Monday and Tuesday, and so um, there was you know a little bit more weakness. The deals got done, but I would say sort of across the board, insured or not, uh, most of the deals were were a struggle uh, to get done. Um, you know, despite that, we had a very very strong week, um, just about nine, uh, just under nine hundred million uh, in in uh, total. Uh, insured volume here at BAM. Um, and uh, so deals are getting done. They've been week to week. I think uh, some issuers are anxious to get into the market. The Arizona sports deal had been a deal that uh, was postponed from a few months back and that came into the market and actually did well. Great. And so looking ahead to next week, uh, $6.5 billion in the total market-wide calendar, a little over $200 million of that is expected to be BAM insured. Uh, leading transactions include the city of Evansville, Indiana. Stiefel is pricing $53 million for uh, the utility system there. Uh, city of Lake Worth Beach, Florida, again, uh, $42 million uh, scheduled to be priced by Morgan Stanley. And Shiawassee County in Michigan, uh, Huntington Security is scheduled to price about $37 million there. Uh, so we'll see how those transactions uh play out. I guess as the market starts to gear into the Memorial Day weekend, it'll probably be a little bit shorter uh, than, than normal. Definitely. I mean, this is where we're pretty encouraged or I was encouraged by the uh, tone of the market late in the week. And, and we're now entering a seasonal period, which uh, typically is uh, is pretty strong for muni. So I think we should see a little bit more of a receptive market, especially back at these ratios. And we'll talk about that more in the coming weeks, but I want to just you know spell out what you're talking about on the seasonality. So you're moving into a period, June and July, with heavy uh, cash coming into the market. I think some estimates are up to $40 billion yep. uh, from uh, coupon payments and maturing trend, uh, maturities on, on outstanding bonds. Um, and a lot of feedback that with the higher rates, the, the new issue supply calendar may be lower. I don't think we've talked about uh, fund flows yet today, but just to, uh, to take a look back to last week, $2.7 billion of outflows from the weekly reporting uh, mutual funds. So you're still Still seeing pressure on that side. That may not change, but the additional cash coming in from payments uh, from issuers that could uh, change the technical sack uh, outlook. Looking into the next couple of months. Yeah, fund flows are are obviously a big story. They've created uh, a significant imbalance uh, in the market, and and I think you're right. I think that will start to uh, address itself both by the technical supply factors that you talked about, uh, and also there's. Um, you know, a little bit more liquidity in the market as, um, you know, if we continue to see a slightly firmer tone. So uh, I think that should uh, alleviate some of this, you know, very dramatic uh, imbalance. I think total uh, outflows have, have now um, exceeded uh, those from the taper tantrum, uh, which also is a really challenging period for munis. Great, although not as prolonged. This has been, uh, this has gone on for a while. Exactly.
Exactly. Thanks for your time this week, Brian. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.